How many? Uh, I don't know, like 15, you think? 15 total or 15 of each? I don't know. <laughs> we're going for it. I really hope there's no restrictions on how many we can get. <laughs> Round four. Round four. Got our new dinghy. We're leaving today. We are planning on leaving <laughs> today and this is the current state of the boat. It's uh, on land. So that's off to a good start, right? Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be when you go to the Bahamas, your boat's on land. Welcome aboard. I'm Natalie. That's TJ our dog Camo, and my amazing dad Mike. TJ and I left Breckenridge, Colorado to join my dad aboard his boat Encore. Tomorrow was never guaranteed, so we decided now was as good a time as any to head out to sea together for an adventure of a lifetime. So, we have arrived back at the marina. After a nice drive to Fort Lauderdale. We have our new freezer. Uh, yes. Our new nice marine freezer. The car is very small, so TJ had to sit in the back with it. And now we just gotta get this freezer onto the boat. Welcome back to Florida. All the projects again. They've already begun. Alright, bring her up. Slowly from here. Shock kit is inside here. Yep. Lovely. Yeah, it looks nice. Just hanging out, it wobbles around. <laughs> we are provisioning for the boat trip. Just starting off the provisioning today. Our car will be completely filled yes. by the end of this. I think we're uh, almost at capacity here for trip number one. Oh. Okay, we'll get some frozen stuff real quick and then we are out. Okay, so I am putting away some of the food we got today and we have a lot of it already and we're probably gonna need to do about five more runs to the grocery store because we're planning on really being pretty self-sufficient and um, we're planning on having the food that we wanna have. I mean, we, we all are gluten-free, dairy-free, pretty much inorganic. So traveling to other countries is always more difficult but if you provision properly and you have all the space you need, it should not be too bad. So we're really trying to get about four months of food on the boat. We're gonna be sitting low in the water, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but um, I'll show you where we are going to keep the food, what we have turned into pantries, and there's a lot of food on this boat. We are ready for an apocalypse. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but if there is one, you know where to go. So this was added on to this boat. A few other Nordhavens have it. It is a cabinet that is underneath the counter in the kitchen. We have stuff everywhere right now, but um, that is how it goes when you're getting ready to go underway. So this is all full of food. I will definitely be putting more food inside of here. And then underneath here, we have more food. This is underneath the couch. 
in the salon. And then when we move this drawer, we have more containers. We're gonna have spices. I need to get a bunch more rice and quinoa. And then back here, I should have just uh, taken a video while I was putting it in, but I actually have, I actually have three tubs this size. So you can kind of see, not really. But there's a ton. This one that you can see right here, there's three of those in there. So we are loaded to the brim. We are making a new dog tag for camo today. So that when we are on the boat, people know that he is a boot dog. How many? Uh, I don't know, like 15, you think? 15 total or 15 of each? I don't know. <laughs> maybe total, total maybe. We are on grocery haul number two. We are getting meat, pasta. pasta. We're going for it. I really hope there's no restrictions on how many we can get. We're, we'll do self-checkout. <laughs> do self-checkout to try to avoid anybody yelling at us. Store. <laughs> People must think we're lunatics. We Abs are lunatics. We are lunatics. Got two cartfuls. How much money do you think we spent on groceries overall? Well, you and I, this is our third run. Yeah. We're at about a thousand per run. So we're at three thousand. My dad did some shopping before we came. Um, and then I did one run in Cleveland who actually did for vitamins. That was another like 600. So we're probably getting around four grand. But we're not eating out. We're not eating out. Supplements, vitamins, herbal stuff. For five months? Four months? Oh, four months this will, this will be good for. So we'll be good for all of February, March, April, May is the plan is to have all of our groceries for four months, which we eat so much food. We may be thin, but we eat a heck of a lot of food. Veggies do not pack on calories like everything else does. We, we got some chips, we got a few things too, but. Cauliflower chips. We got some cauliflower <laughs> chips. And kale. Touche. Kale <laughs> chips. <laughs> so we go through a lot of food. Okay, so we have the majority of all of our non-perishable goods so it's time for me to start putting them away we have we have made our whole upstairs pilot house shower into a pantry there's another bin to go up on top of here also so now it's time for me to get all of our food <laughs> tucked away into the bins and the closets and wherever else so wish me luck. Getting dive gear. What do you think, Camel? <laughs> Getting a puka set up. I'm excited. Oh, it fits really well. Yeah. Got our new dinghy. It has, Love it. It has an engine too. Just like I like rowing. <laughs> <laughs> it well, it kind of goes fast and neutral. Like the neutral setting on it is a little bit quick. I'm not used to doing a, a dual. Or this is getting metal. us ready for whitewater rafting. I know, it honestly, it's like having a frame. I like it. Sit. Sit. I like this also. I do a little arm workout. This is my kind of workout right here. Look at that sunset. That's beautiful. And the other chest you can't really feel. It's just because it's like a Q-tip. 
the other ones tickle. For some reason, these with the Q-tip. And... I picked my nose farther than that. <laughs> We just got our COVID test done so we could travel to the Bahamas. Wasn't was, bad. No, it wasn't bad. We had an easy one. Oh wait, reverse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were two hundred and fifty dollars a that person because we want them in six hours because we need to do a travel visa for the Bahamas. And today's Wednesday. We're leaving on Friday, so a little bit expensive. So we got the dog done, we got us done, now we just do the, the visas. And then we're good to go to the Bahamas. And we need to get negative test results. Well, that too, yeah. Yeah, now we're good. We're off. <laughs> this is our uh, frozen round for our freezers. Frozen veggies and fruit and everything else. Round four. Round four. We are T minus one day until departure for the Bahamas. So, getting everything loaded up, all the errands, got the purse filled with stuff, and we are trying to get everything done before we need to leave. We are packing up our meats so that it fits into the freezer well. Yeah, the turkey packages were not really space friendly so they're taking all the turkey that we just got today our ground turkey and putting it into little freezer bags vacuum seal bags and then we're going to put it in the freezer so that we can store a bunch more turkey and we also won't have a ton of garbage when we're over there because these are pretty bulky containers so we'll do that vacuum seal it throw it to the freezer and then have all of our ground turkey and meat over in the Bahamas. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Another day of provisioning has come and gone. We got some more stuff from Target, carabiners, pans, paper towels, all the fun stuff. Tons and tons and tons of errors today. We got our COVID test today and, and we all came back negative. So we were good to get our travel visa for the Bahamas. So we applied for that. Those got approved. It is Wednesday today and the boat is um, coming out of the water. The boat's coming out of the water tomorrow to get some work done on it. The dripless on the main shaft is dripping, so that's not good. That could really fail at any time and then the boat sinks. So we are getting that fixed before we leave. We're getting hauled out tomorrow at 3 p.m., which is Thursday. And then we go back in the water Friday at noon and then immediately afterwards, we're gonna get fueled up and then begin our journey over to the Bahamas. And we're heading to Chub K first. So we'll head over to Chub K, which is in the Berry Islands. We have a, another stunning, calm night. It is just glass in here. How stunning that is. Who, what, me? <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> Almost ready to go to the Bahamas? Very ready to go to the Bahamas. Vacuuming, cleaning, provisioning, COVID tests, visas. Dog visas, <laughs> dog COVID tests, dog blindness, <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. No, the dog didn't have to get a COVID test. He had to get a, uh, a, health, import, a yeah. health permit. Yeah. So he got that. We're cleared on that. We're waiting for the final one, which we, we should get tomorrow or Friday. 
and then we're off. We're off. I'm excited. I know. For a lot more pretty sunsets. Okay, this is one of our last grocery runs. Loading up on one of the very last runs. I actually like grocery shopping and I am so done grocery shopping. I'm ready to not see a Whole Foods for quite a while. Well, there won't be one. There will not be a Whole Foods in the Bahamas. I know that, so I won't see one, but I'm actually ready to not see one. Look at all those Nordhavens. <laughs> out of North Palm Beach Marina for the last time. Uh, there it goes by North Palm. We are on our way to Seminole to go get hauled out. Luckily it is a gorgeous, beautiful day out. Great day for a little cruise. It's about half hour up the intercoastal and then we'll be there. What do you see? What's out there? What do you see? So we're waiting for the bridge to open. This is our first bridge. We have one more bridge afterwards. And then we'll go into the slings. Yep. So this is the lineup waiting to go under the bridge. I mean, some of these boats can, are definitely probably gonna go around us to, because they can fit underneath. But if they can't fit underneath, those, those back two can't fit. They're going to wait for the bridge to open. And then we will all go through. Boatyard, and there is our lift right there. That is what is going to be picking up our boat and pulling it out of the water. And then it will be sitting out of the water like those boats are. Well, this isn't usually what 24 hours before departure looks like, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We are itching to get to the Bahamas, so we are getting hauled, getting worked on, and then getting set back in the water and sent on our way. Now, let's just hope that everything goes according to plan and that there are no more delays because we are beyond ready for the Caribbean. It's like playing Legos with a... 150,000 pound monster. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good right there. Leave it like that. So 
this is always so crazy to me. So when the boats come out of the water, this is how they hold them up. They just put them on a bunch of big, thick wooden blocks, and then they have all these adjustable, I don't know what they're called, all these adjustable bars all along the side. And that is what keeps you, you stable and not moving around while you are aground on land, getting worked on. So we were actually just pulled out of the water about two weeks ago. And then on the way back to the marina, we noticed that the main propeller dripless seal um, was stripping. So that's not good because if it keeps stripping, we can corrode more. And then the boat can take in the water and sink. So we don't like that. But we did just get the whole bottom painted, which looks so beautiful and nice, a brand new blue, so clean. So when we're in the Bahamas and I am scraping the bottom, should be easier to do. Um, right over here, these are bow thruster, and that's in the front of the boat, the bow, and that makes it so that um, when we wanna move the boat forward or, or left or right, it makes it a little bit easier to do that. We don't need to use the engines in the back. We can just take the front of the boat and go and it goes left and right. So that's what we kind of got worked on and it's looking pretty good. These are, um, these right here are our fins. Our fins are what we use when we are underway to keep us stable. So these things move up here, they rotate around on this, you can see there's space in there, it rotates on that axis, and it goes back and forth and shifts underway and counteracts the waves so that it rotates and keeps us stable underway so that we don't have too much rocking and rolling. And we have one on each side of the boat, so there's one on this side and then there's one all the way on the other side in the same position. Watch yourselves. One, two, three. I got it. Not us. Would you stop? So we are at the hotel. The boat is out of the water. We are staying here for the night because we can't stay on the boat overnight. And the boat's supposed to only be out of the water tonight. I'm supposed to go back in the water tomorrow at one o'clock. Fingers crossed, that's what happens. This is now the eleventh time we have packed up our clothes and stayed at a new location in the last two um, months. Yeah, yeah, it's been a lot, a lot, a lot of moving. Very ready to just be at one home base at least, even if that home base is moving. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just want to be in one home base and not constantly be going here and there and everywhere. So that is what's going on, and so hopefully tomorrow at in the morning we get the good news that the boat will be good to go in a few hours, and then it'll be all done. We can put it back in the water and head to the Bahamas. That's it. Yay. Okay, we're going little puppy dreams. <laughs> so we just got back over to the boat. We just got our refrigerated goods. We're leaving today. We are planning on leaving today <laughs> and this is the current state of the boat. It's uh, on land. So that's off to a good start, right? Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be when you go to the Bahamas, your boat's on land. So we're gonna go see the updates and see how it looks. How's it looking? Right. We're looking good. Yeah? Putting her back together. Nice. So we are at the boatyard. We have Yacht Tech here working on our main propeller. We're up in the air. It's kind of crazy. So this is where all the fun work's getting done. There's guys back there in the lazarette. And I think down here is actually one of 
the main areas that they are working on. That's brand new. That just got replaced. The propeller is in place. It's got to tighten it up. And we are getting close to being ready. Boat dog camo. You watching over everything? Making sure everything's done right? How's it look? Looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good little nap spot right there. Okay, this is the lift. I'm gonna pick up our boat. They are driving it over right now. And then they will get it all positioned around Encore, put the slings on and pick her up. There's my dad, <laughs> looking like a tiny person next to this mega stuff. Right now they are lifting the boat back up, removing all the supports and the wood blocks that are there and getting ready to drop it back down into the water. the tanks we have how much I think we have 750 going into this side yep. right. and how much on this side okay we got our two tanks going on filling up and the last time we filled up was up in, in I think it was in October in Southwest Harbor Maine yeah we yeah. came all the way down the east coast anchored out and we pulled in the 700 gallons <laughs> yeah. Great. yeah we uh we use very little fuel it's nice. It's a For, green energy boat. <laughs> not quite, but it uh, is a sustainable it's, boat. It's pretty efficient considering how large it is and how unsustainable it looks. And you would think it is if we run our generators, our refrigerators, our electricity, everything off of the diesel for in our generator. So it's a uh, pretty impressive when you factor it out. We really use less energy than a house would. Yeah, about the same. Yeah. 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 It's pretty impressive. Look at us go. We're heading to the Bahamas. We're heading to the Bahamas. To the Bahamas, full speed ahead. <laughs> well, AKA. We don't go real fast, but we're going to get there. You're way to the right, TJ. Yeah. Uh oh. What? Don't ground us when we're on our way to the Bahamas. Gun with no GPS position. 
All vessels are requested to keep a sharp lookout. Assist if possible and report all sightings along with your vessel's position to the Coast Guard. Sign Commander, United States Coast Guard, Sector Miami, Florida. Break. It's the United States Coast Guard, Sector Miami, Florida. Out. What the heck? Are you kidding me? We didn't bring our guns. <laughs> We were debating bringing our guns, and we didn't bring any guns, and we get out in the water for an hour and a half, and we hear a report about... Guns. Guns. What the heck is that all about? We haven't heard that all summer. Get me to the islands. <laughs> The groceries have been purchased, spare parts have been stowed, the boat is back on the water, and we are finally headed to turquoise water and white sand beaches. We have an amazing weather window, so cruising is ideal. Only one more night shift and we will be in the Bahamas.